My name is Damon Jones, New York representative of Blacks and Law Enforcement of America. And um, I'm just responding to the alleged allegations of the so-called retirement of uh, the alleged Deputy Commissioner Joseph Spezio. Um, it's a long time coming. Commissioner Harris should have did it a long time ago. You know, I don't understand why it happened the day before Richard Thomas goes to court. Maybe that has some significance into it. Maybe um, New Rochelle doing their job, uh, making sure um, people are not driving with uh, suspended licenses or no New York State licenses. Um, maybe that uh, did it, but um, it's long overdue. It's long overdue for the city of Mount Vernon. It's long overdue for Commissioner Harris. It's long overdue for the Mount Vernon Police Department. Um, Joseph Spezio held that position illegally. He held it illegally. He wasn't even properly sworn in. He violated the city charter. And as former uh, Commissioner Robert Kelly testified, he wasn't a, a, a New York State resident, which is a violation of, of New York State law. You have to be a resident of, of, of the state of New York to hold um, a police officer's position. Um, or be a police peace officer of the state. So, you know, you know, all this is going down. You know, Mr. Spezio injected himself into a homicide investigation and 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 involved a former felon, Roberta James, into Nas Duncan's son homicide investigation. He violated their Facebook policy. He he harassed senior citizens on Facebook, right? But he he still kept his job, right? Um he also posted things on, on Facebook. He posted medical information. He talked about medical information of employees, you know, violated HIPAA law, still kept his job, still kept his job. Even when his company, one of his trash companies did a hit and run, he protected though. He protected his company from that in Mount Vernon. He illegally was part of um, sh illegally shutting down OK Freddy's. He was part of that. Still kept his job. Still kept his job. Publicly called, threatened um, Councilman Andre Wallace to do bodily harm to him. Still kept his job. Made homophobic statements publicly against Andre Wallace. Still kept his job. Still kept his job. Violated the city charter, still kept his job. So now all of a sudden, he's caught without a license, and then it's verified that he is not a New York State resident. We want to act in the fourth quarter. Not to mention how he harassed my wife. And um, Commissioner Harris knows that for a fact. What Commissioner Harris should have did, he should have called Commissioner Spezio former Commissioner Spezio to his office and put cuffs on him because he knows firsthand of his violations of policies and procedures of the Mount Vernon Police Department as a deputy commissioner. Commissioner Harris knows firsthand. So we're not popping bottles. We're not giving kudos because his ass should have been fired a long time ago.